after we have written a project on cookie based authentication today is the last and concluding tutorial of that project and we will be mainly discussing the security aspects of this project let us start with the login form and see how it is protected against the cross site request forgery attacks we have discussed xsrf in good detail in lecture l2 so you can have a review of xsrf in lecture l2 also now let us run the project to open the login form. The login form is shown on the left hand side and its source is shown on the right hand side. We can spot in this source the anti forgery token that is being sent as a hidden field by the razor page. This is type is equal to hidden. This is a hidden field that has been sent by the razor page and its name is request verification token. This is actually the anti forgery token that has been sent by the ASP.NET Core razor page. There is a value attached to it. This is quite a cryptic value. This is the value that you can see that it has been attached. This is the anti forgery token that has been sent to us. Now if you open the developer options and you want to examine the cookies there, you can spot an anti forgery cookie that is associated with this request. And you will see that the cookie contains the very same anti forgery token as is being sent to this hidden anti forgery token as a hidden field. So this cookie contains the same value of the anti forgery token. Now let us recall that in the third lecture L3 we wrote the startup file. There we configured the cookie minimum same site policy as strict. This you can refer by going to the startup file that we configured in the third lecture. This policy prevents the cookies from being served through forms embedded in third party websites. So this means that your login form cannot be embedded in a third party website because even if somebody tries to embed it in a third party website, the uh, the forgery token inside this cookie this will not be available to the third party website this means that that website cannot mimic cannot fake this input request verification token without the knowledge of this data this data cannot be available to a third party website and therefore it cannot create a fake input and these two data they are needed by your ASP.NET Core server for comparison of a genuine request of a genuine login form request that is coming that is posted to it. So it is very clear that since the form this is the ASP.NET Core website will compare these two data before allowing any access to the user the ASP.NET Core website is going to compare these two and these two will not be available to it if the form is coming through a bad route. So we can say that the form is fully protected against the XSRF attacks. And in case you are interested in knowing why the login page needs to be protected with anti forgery tokens, you can refer this discussion on this stack overflow link for more details. There is another paper that has more information on XSRF. This paper has been written by these writers and it is available on this link and it is quite a good good paper that you can refer to enhance your understanding of XSRF. Now next let us run the project to verify the remember me feature. Now keep this ticked and click this submit button and log in. So what will, ha what will happen is that it will cause your authentication cookie to persist on the user's computer because of this remember me. So when you tick this remember me and click this submit the authentication cookie will be stored on the user's computer. And if you see the extract of the login process, this is the login.cshtml.cs, the backing class. If you see the backing class code that we have already written, there we set the expiry time to 10 minutes for testing purposes. So that you can verify it on your computer that this cookie is actually working. This time, of 10 minutes is usually set to a more meaningful time maybe one year or so or whatever. So what I'm saying is that your cookie will persist for 10 minutes in our case. So you will observe that the login form is not presented if you open the project's home page within that period of 10 minutes. So this verifies that the remember me portion works. And in fact why is it working? 
because if you click this lock icon on the top of this you can see the cookies that are created for you one cookie is obviously the anti forgery cookie that you can spot here also and there is this cookie this is the persistence cookie the cookie that contain that will live for that period of 10 minutes so those two cookies are in fact present so now the question is how secure is the cookie encryption the cookies are strongly encrypted by ASP.NET Core's data protection system which is internally used by ASP.NET Core for encryption. So with this we can say that the login is as secure as that of any professional website like PayPal and Google. Thank you.